investigation of a power factor correction unit must be undertaken by an authorized and qualified person, such as an electrician, and must comply with local supply authority rules and regulations and installation instructions. The safety instructions in this video are intended for all power factor correction units. Neglecting these instructions can cause serious physical injuries or even death. Please ensure that your main incoming supply is switched off during installation. The power factor correction unit should be installed indoors and situated in a ventilated area, if possible in an air-conditioned room where the temperature does not exceed 40 degrees Celsius. The life of the capacitors will be greatly reduced if the temperature rise exceeds 50 degrees Celsius. The temperature inside the power factor correction panel should not be greater than 10 to 15 degrees higher than ambient. Protect the power factor correction unit against dust and moisture. Wall mount units should be installed at least 1,200 mm from floor level, with a minimum of 500 mm clearance around the panel to ensure sufficient air ventilation around the sides of the panel. With wall-mounted units and floor units, care should be taken that nothing obstructs the vent louvers on the front doors or the fan on the top of the units as this will result in overheating and damage to the systems. Each power factor correction unit requires an individual earth connection, power connection and current transformer connection. The earth connection provided in the power factor system can be identified by a bolt connection with the adjacent clearly marked earth symbol. Please ensure that the appropriate sized earth cable is used according to regulation. We suggest at least 50% of the size of the supply cable to be used on the earth cable. If your supply cable is 50 square millimeters, please use a cable that is at least 25 square millimeters. Also ensure that this connection is tightened sufficiently to avoid loose connections when powered. Selecting the correct cable needs to be in accordance with the relevant local regulations. Keep in mind when cable selection is made that you may add future expansions to the power factor system and your cable selection should accommodate the current carrying capacity of such system. Make sure that you have a clockwise phase rotation on your supply when connecting the power unit. You will connect the live one on the red phase Connect Live 2 on the white phase. Connect Live 3 on the blue phase. Tighten the connection sufficiently to avoid loose connections when powered. The current transformer has to be provided locally. It is not provided with the power factor system. Current transformers are normally marked with P1 and P2 and S1 and S2 and should face the supply transformer with P2 on the load side. The S1 control wires terminal goes to the terminal marked S1 and the S2 control wires terminal goes to the terminal marked S2 on the controller. Connect the current transformer onto the red phase with P1 facing the breaker and P2 facing the load. It is recommended that the power factor system is installed as close as possible to the main incoming supply. 
Please note the placement of the current transformer in relation to the main supply, power factor and load. This is to ensure that the power factor controller will see both the load current and the correcting reactive power of the power factor system. The current transformer will be connected to terminals clearly identified as S1 and S2. Run CT cables inside the power factor unit. Make sure that all wires are neatly and safely tucked away. The system is now ready to be switched on. The ratio of the current transformer must be programmed by the installer into the power factor correction controller. Please watch the next power factor instructional video which demonstrates the programming of the controller.